Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. All these shirts are free. Get on Sheen for ten dollars. Not a thirty end of the day deal. I need some relief from this, but I wasn't getting any relief. I did feel like dizziness a little bit here or there. Um, I didn't try any other medication because I um, I don't really like taking medication. I never like taking medicine. Like I think I've always been like that. I have grown up taking vitamins and herbal supplements. Like my parents own a health food store. So I grew up, we didn't go to the doctor. <laughs> My mama was our doctor. And so she was the one, if we got sick, if we had any type of feeling, she was giving us herbal supplements to cure whatever was going on. So thinking about taking Tylenol and uh, pain medications and all these other medications that doctors usually prescribe freaks me out because it's like putting something foreign in my body and me not having control of whatever reaction it may cause. And I don't like to feel out of control. I already be having enough feelings in my body. I feel everything. So to think that I have some type of pain medication that I don't know what it's gonna do to me, I'd rather take those herbal supplements because it's natural and it's gonna pass right on through, baby, okay? One thing to look at is if you don't want to take medication, you can talk about like herbs or supplements to help prevent headaches. When I realized that um, I had the headache and when it started and I took something and it didn't relieve anything, I was like, oh, this may be. So then my mind starts to go into other places. I'm like, what is this? What This is, may not be just a headache, you know? It depends on the definition. <laughs> uh, I will say that I am very much aware of things that happen in my body. And because I'm very much aware of everything that I can feel everything, it does freak me out. And so I do start to just think about all these different things that could be happening to my body. And it, it scares me sometimes. Um, it's hard to just trust and know that you're just okay. Because, man, this world has changed so much. Things are changing like by the second. Viruses are being put out. Like you just, you just never know. And so, Maybe I'm a worrier. Maybe I am a hypochondriac because I do feel a lot of things and freak myself out about it. I need to figure out how to control that. I'm, I'm working with my therapist. That's why I really didn't take anything else. That's why I was trying other things. So I was like, okay, well, let me um, use the ice pack. Let me, I did try to do like some different tea. I didn't really know what else to do. And I didn't want to be that person that goes to like the emergency room for a headache. The thought of going to the hospital or the, the emergency room and telling the nurse that you're here because you have a really bad headache, it seemed very just childish to me. And I think that's probably because of how a lot of black and brown people, how a lot of black and brown people were raised. Like in our households, it's just a generational thing where you feel some you go in there, you lay down. <laughs> like your grandma sent you in there to lay down. I guess when we feel things in our body, we have been taught to just deal with it and to let it wear itself off. It's never really been encouraged or acceptable, I feel like, for our community to go and talk about us being in pain. If we are in pain or if we actually feel something or have a worry, it's more like we're complaining instead of us just being concerned about our body you know what i mean and then it's hard to trust that the people that we are going to actually care about us enough to really want us to be healthy or to really care enough to be concerned about whatever issues we are having within our health i just felt like it was no point of me going to the ER for something so simple, even though I was very much so worried, but it didn't seem like 
it was acceptable for me to go to the ER for a headache. So because I told you that my dad had an aneurysm, I wanted to just make sure preventative, you know, just to make sure that that's not why I'm having the headaches, I guess. And because they've been just so significant. I know a lot of people would think, like, girl, you would know if you're having an aneurysm. I wouldn't. I didn't know what it would feel like. How are you supposed to know until you've actually been in that position to actually have one, you know? So I didn't know. All I know is when something is going on in my body and it makes me feel uncomfortable, then I try to deal with that. I don't know what, just what you think I should do. So I'm not worried about your headache. Um, I totally understand why you are. Okay. Um, if you want, I can put in a referral to a neurologist. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. This is the first time that I have had a doctor that I felt seriously cared about me, um, wanted to uh, assure that I am healthy and I am strong. She wanted to reassure me that I am healthy and that I am strong. She cares. I've never had a doctor that actually listens to me and really cares about what I am saying and will any concern I have it's a concern for her so she really puts action to her words I've never had a doctor like that you know the thought of leaving LA and um not <laughs> having her as a doctor anymore is scary to me like she's amazing and like she has just been amazing and I appreciate Dr. Campbell so much because I feel like she really cares about me and you don't find that often. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, this was great. I am so appreciative of that and I think that was everything. I've really been a little scared that I um, have been having these bad headaches. I still want to go to a neurologist just to make sure because of my father you know and his history and just making sure that it's not anything more significant than what she says it is but it's good to hear that i guess people just normally have headaches i didn't know that people just have headaches and it's just a thing i mean i've had headache a headache here or there but having a headache for three weeks or two weeks it's more two weeks having a headache two weeks ongoing is very scary so um that's good that it's not that bad so i'm excited to know that i'm okay viv kiko coming to urgent care all i see is bright lights baby come on give it give it give it to me oh my gosh blah blah